Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthanex Plays Renowned Explorers. So we just finished off the Caribbean Island and now we've got to spend our resources. So we will start with research because I definitely want to grab this. And we can get two more things. Hmm. So this would give us one extra token from each job. Since I think I'm going to go to Egypt. Um, I'm actually really tempted to grab plus two resolve because we're kind of low on resolve. Or we could get plus one study when we resolve an encounter devious. And plus one study when we enter a nature challenge for the first time. This is pretty good too. Since we can get both of these. It's a little bit risky not to get the extra resolve, but I think I'm going to do it. So we'll go scouting, plus one steady for devious. Level 4 survivalist. We have a level 4 survivalist. This is pretty good for us then. Huh. I really like the rest of this tree. We might try and work more on this tree. Okay. I probably will go ahead and buy that though. Regardless. Alright. So let's head to the oh like, where are my buttons? Let's head over here, upgrade this. So I'd really like an athlete perk. Well, I'd also kind of like an archaeologist perk to get up to level 4 archaeologists, or at least have a chance of getting to level 4 archaeologists. So that's a tough choice. So we got 424. Not going to be able to get two. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's for sale. What, what are the trinkets here? Naturalist purse. Okay. We got. I'm going to upgrade this once. So, as I recall, there's some pretty good trinkets. In the Beguiler Perk. As long as there are five or more supplies. Yeah, that's not very good. Hmm. 96. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Okay, this gives us an athlete perk. Plus two attack power. Terrifying booster. Does she have terrifying? She does have terrifying. Alright, well that seems like a no-brainer item for her, since we want to give her athlete anyway. Let him buy the machete. I'll give this to her for now. And we can sell this. So now we at least have an athlete. Even if... Hmm. Okay. Even if I would like more. So we could get the archaeologist bonus. Now let's see. This is... Legends or architecture? What does she have? She has legends and she can get history. So we need to get her architecture. I think I'm going to do it to at least have a shot of having a level 4 archaeologist when we finish Egypt. So, and get the extra treasure there. So let's go back here. And 
I can't afford to upgrade this twice and see what else there is. So, it's architecture, right? Yeah, architecture. Astrid, a slightly over-enthusiastic professor who spits when she talks, uh, wants to teach Amelia architecture. Okay, so that gives her a level 3 archaeologist. So if we can find that event in Egypt, and it usually does spawn, then we can get her to level 4. Not always. It's not 100%, but it's usually there somewhere. Okay. Now we have 671 gold. And I'm thinking I want to get some defensive items. So there's no defensive items there. So let's upgrade this again. And let's get some master boots for our scouts. So master boots, 25 grit, 15 armor, 15 speech defense. Yeah, some master boots for her. And she really could use the speech power more than. Hmm. Problem is, I kind of want to get better defensive items. Well, I can only afford one good memento. So let's get let's sell these two. Let's get a good memento for him. And we'll move that to her. Five grit is not very much, but Better than nothing. 36% chance of invading enemy ability. Hmm. All right. And that's all of our gold. So let's head out. And we'll go to Egypt and see what we can get. Ah, the Egyptian desert. So there's our target, the pyramid, the Temple of Sekhmet. And there's the Oasis Seas. Okay. All right, so looks like we got an encounter right off the bat. There are several small houses lying in ruins in the middle of the desert. You investigate each house, but nothing noteworthy can be found. But then immediately notices a basement door. Oh, so we got mummies. Let's go deal with the mummies. So I think we get a bonus for being friendly here, but I don't think we're going to be friendly. So they are friendly. So if we start friendly, then we can get extra attack power. Uh, oh, I like setting up here. Even though it means that we're going to have some people that can't do some anything this turn. Unless, hmm. If we go aggressive, <laughs> they are also going to go aggressive for sure. So, I 
can also set up down here, but I like the healing that's going on over there. So let's play these guys. Confident, resistance, sad, and weakness. Okay, that's not going to affect us at all. It's a little risky putting him here, although he does have some speech defense now. It's not enough for me to feel really confident about it. I might rather have her here. So she's going to be there. Who's this? She's trying to excite. Okay, so we'll move her back up to here. We'll move him to here. She can use Excite on him <laughs> first. She can use Impress on this guy. And then she... Use excite on this guy. Maybe Yahoo! kill him. Yes. Okay. Now we'll let them go, and we have the plus fifty attack power. So. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. But only one of them can do that to him. Her. Okay, so she needs to do a Tranquility for sure. Wow, it doesn't even heal her for that much. Hold off for a second. So... Let's go ahead and do an attack. That should kill this guy. Huh. <laughs> Um, she can come down here and do... Yeah, I kind of forgot about that ability. I should probably be using more. We'll have her enrage this guy. Blah, blah. Oh. Ah. And then she can come up here and do a tranquility. Oh, yeah. And then she'll get healed for a little bit more on her next turn. Hopefully, they won't finish ah. any of my guys off. All right, we got a miss, so we should be safe. Yeah, her grit was really good because she just used Enrage, which gives her plus 20 grit thanks to her ability. Now she can do this. That'll give her 30 grit. <laughs> um, forgot how powerful that ability was. I should really have used that more often. Okay. Uh, all right, so it looks like looks like we're definitely gonna finish this devious. That's okay. <laughs> we won't get the extra encounter token, but we'll get the um, collect and study token, which is almost as good as an encounter token, but not quite. Uh, all right. The mummy stopped trying to hug you and leave you alone. So, to collect. Now, there's a nature challenge here, so we'll do that. A vast open piece of desert without a single spot of shade stands before you. Kiwi spots a rock formation miles ahead with a looking glass. 
probably containing valuables. However, nobody feels like braving this exhausting sea of sand. Uh, so we can spend the supplies and get to collect. We've already gotten the supplies for moving here. But we are pretty close to an oasis. 68% chance. Hmm. Let's try it. It's not like we lose a resolve if we fail. So we fail. We're down to eight supplies. Um, hmm. All right, let's go here. Nothing of interest. Go to the oasis. Oh, I should have leveled up my person. Uh, so we'll approach the visit British. We will convince them. We will battle them. So they're friendly. Ooh, this is tight quarters too. This is kind of an unfortunate draw for this map. I think we want to try and circle around this way. We can get almost everybody over there. So let's hmm, let's move you to here. You use excite. You here. And this might finish him off, actually. 50% as much damage. Is that two thirds of his health? Or we could do that. Let's do that. And then. here to block these guys off and you can enrage this guy we can definitely finish him off next turn blah, blah. Yeah. all right so this could be ugly if they all gang up on one person if they missed her occasionally. She can't do anything. Okay, so... Yeah, we ought to be able to... So let's move her up to here. And use Tranquility. And then... We can have him. Yeah, he will definitely kill this guy this time. Or she will. First attack, even. Now... 20 speech defense. I wonder if they'll switch to aggressive. They might. Let's... These guys are all going to get to attack no matter where we are. So let's group up... And who do we want to go after first? Doesn't really matter. I guess we'll go after this one. Blah, blah. Uh. All right. As long as I don't all go after the same person, we should be okay. Hi. Oh. All right. They did not switch from friendly, so we're still getting plus twenty speech defense. Hey. Oh. Yeah. That helps. And they each attack a different person. That helps too. 
All right, we should be okay. So we'd like to end this devious with a bonus, but we got to be careful because we'll get a big speech defense penalty if it's their turn and it's devious. This enrages them, right? Okay. What is this going to do? It's going to do a lot. We should be okay here. <laughs> oh. Um. So we can have you do a friendly. Yahoo! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And we can have you do an aggressive. Wow, that took away all of the extra ones. <laughs> Oi! Oh. They switched to devious. Interesting. All right, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get back to devious. Our best chance is if she doesn't enrage and misses. But she didn't. Oh, oh well. We didn't want to go aggressive there, but we were able to refill our supplies. She levels up. Um, so I'm going to hold off. If we get that, if we find that, um, yeah. So this, if this gives her an occult perk, well, let's see. Let's see if it does. Let's see if this is the one that gives the occult perk. Well, we found this tre extra treasure site. Yes, all right. So she's going to run off into the desert, start talking about aliens, and she gains the occult perk. So she's a level 4 archaeologist. So I could give her... I'm kind of tempted to give her a naturalist perk. Does she really need level 6 archaeologist? Well, on the other hand, she really need level 3 naturalist. Level 5 archaeologist is probably better than level 3 naturalist. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, level 5 gives us, unlocks the second tier of that ability from our follower. If we go here, so yeah, so now whenever she succeeds on the adventure wheel, if she's a level 5 archaeologist, we'll get 2 study instead of 1. So I think that is worth it. She doesn't already have history. All right. All right, so now... Let's see, there's a nature challenge over there. Hmm. It's a long way out of our way, though. I think we'll just go here. The Red Hill. Uh, okay, we'll climb to the top of the Red Hill. This is like, this is the worst of the special events you can get in Egypt. You make the climb to the top where you're shocked to see a giant sunflower-like flower on top of the hill. You get a strange vibe from the flower. You examine the giant leaves and the giant seeds of the sunflower. The smell around the flower is very nice and sweet. Bia tries to pull out one of the seeds to see if it's edible. Suddenly, the flower starts shaking heavily and you are swallowed by the flower. You are pulled into the hill. Things get a bit vague now. The vine suddenly lets go and you find yourselves in some sort of organic room. The room is lit up by glowing algae. So now we have the chance to stay in here. The longer we stay in here, the worse this chance gets. Uh, let's stay in once. This is no ordinary allergy. These produce a nice glowing light, which makes underground life possible. Mealy looks around and notices some dead bodies. So now we could search the bodies and get some treasure and go down to like 50% on this. But I think I'm going to stop here. That way I won't have to use my tools and still have a good chance of success. All right. We escape. We stand at the foot of the hill and take a look back at the amazing flower. All right. So... 
That was not that helpful. Uh, all right, so we got a couple of oasises we could make for here. We still have eight supplies. I'm not liking this too much. Let's head this way. Do find something of interest here. But there's a possible item we can get here. A private British expedition force. They're in possession of a full set of canopic jars, a piece that would be better off in a museum than a private collection. The investor spots you. Can I help you, dear travelers? A cup of tea, perhaps? Uh, well, we don't have a speaker, so let's engage them. We'll just go straight into, uh, straight into combat here. All right, so this is pretty similar to what we had last time. So we probably want to handle this kind of the same way we did before. Maybe we start with having her do an excite. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's start with having her doing an excite on her. Oh, she has, they have excited resistance. Did not realize that. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. We would have been the same anyway, probably. All right, then she can step back here and do our hidden attack. Oh, it doesn't kill her? All right, do it anyway. Let's do. Let's. I want to finish off this one. Blah, blah. <gasps> all right. Now again, this could get bad if they all gang up on the same person. Hey. And they all yeah. hit. Money. <laughs> okay. He did a buff on the one that already moved. I think. Okay, so she's attacking somebody else. Alright, so they all attack different people. So we should be okay. And they're excited now to boot. So we definitely want to go aggressive before we lose this buff. So I'm going to do the Tranquility now, I think. And then... Let's have you finish off this one with Aggressive. And then you can use Enrage and finish off that one. Blah, blah. <laughs> oh. All right. So now we have plus 20 speech defense. We'll see if their attitude shifts. Hi. Oh, nope. Money. Oh. All right. The plus 20 speech defense is really good. All right, so now let's, uh, yeah, actually, let's have you go here, and you can use your loudmouth ability. Ha, 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 Okay. Now, now we'll go all out aggressive again. So we'll do you can attack him. Ha! Oh. Ha! Money. <laughs> I love that. Uh, 
All right, I think we'll be okay. So if this works, we'll finish in Devious, which is what we want. Okay. Perfect. Oh. All right. Your opponents are overflowing with negativity. At some point, the investor loses it and throws the kidnapping jars at you. Bia quickly picks them up and you run away. Perfect. Four campaign and four study. All right, so now we got to go to the oasis because we're just about out of supplies. After a while in the desert, you finally see an oasis on the horizon. Uh, there's a lake. Okay, Kiwi can go fishing. Beautiful. The others also got us two supplies. All right, that brings us back up to seven. And she can level up. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and get level four tactics. And that unlocks triple slash for her as well, which is potentially even more brutal. Uh, hmm. We don't have a diplomat. We do have an archaeologist. Archeolo Let's chance it. A British camp. Oh, and we needed a diplomat. Uh, all right. I'm going to use oh, we only have one tools man look at that look at what we get if she succeeds that's just insane all right i'm going to use the tools and, and have her give it a shot all right you're allowed to stay so two campaign one collect one supplies one campaign and three study yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty ridiculous. All right, so we'll go here. That gives us another supplies. So we want to leave our uh, tactician behind, I think, for this one. Yeah, she takes charge of the defense. She's the tactician. She averts the raid. Plus three plus. What a three fierce defense. By using nearby rock formations and tools left behind by the crew, Bia creates a makeshift fortress. The bandits see that this is going to be a tough job and leave. To boot, Kiwi comes back from scouting with gems. Okay, so we actually have lots of supplies left. Uh... We can probably circle around to this other oasis. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, I think we can. And there's even a nature supply there. Oh, that's not good, though. Okay, Amelia will investigate the desert. She succeeds. Awesome. All sorts of beetles and interesting materials. She gets two steady plus three steady in one campaign. That um, follower is really helping us out. All right, we should have enough supplies to get to this oasis. All right, two supplies there, and we will approach the British for some encounter tokens and some more supplies. And possibly another collect and another uh, what is it, study that we get from them? I'm going devious. It's another collect and another study, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, so we wanted to start friendly. So we'll excite you. Yahoo! Yeah. And then you can use your hidden attack. It doesn't quite finish her off. Uh, well, I'll do it anyway. So I want to stay friendly. Uh. Or do I? Maybe I should just go out and go aggressive. Hmm. 
Hmm. No. We'll stay friendly. Blah, blah. <gasps> we'll stay friendly for one turn. Hi. Okay, that's fine. Hi. Oh, yay. Okay. She can take it. Time has definitely come to go aggressive here. So. So she can't actually finish one of those guys off by being aggressive. We want to stay aggressive. What we want to do is have her move to here. Let's do the tranquility first. We'll move to here, and nope, we want to wait before we do that. We want here, move down to here. Actually, she should have done loudmouth there, but triple slash will definitely. <laughs> take him down, and then she can use enrage. off. Alright, now we're down to two of them. So we should be okay. Hey! Oh, Hi! Ah, okay. I would like to finish this devious... Should be possible. Uh, have her take a step back. She can go here and use loudmouth. <laughs> so that'll take us into devious. Now She has Terrify, so she can use her just regular attack. 100% chance to hit. Ah, I, uh, and she can use Terrify and finish this off. <laughs> Perfect. It seems you are very persuasive. They give you some of their supplies and leave. You check how many supplies you have and leave before any more British come. Okay. So we can explore at least a couple more places now. Um, she leveled up, so she's going to get flank and shank. And we don't have camping, so we'll grab that. We'll go here. It'll give us some supplies for being a nature challenge. Um, sure, 100% chance. A great job. Kiwi climbs down skillfully and finds something convenient. Let's take the money. Okay, now we're almost out of supplies. So we'll have to skip that encounter and go here. The crew passes through a vicious sandstorm. No one can see anyone else but the true skies to stick together. However, when the storm passes, Captain Kiwi is gone. All right, so we've done this event before, so I'll skip the dialogue. Um, but this, I think, yeah, this is going to give us the chance to give Bia another athlete perk. So we can have her get athlete tenacious. Good. The crew continues looking for Kiwi. This leads them to a British excavation site. Uh, so then we have to, we do a two person encounter fight with these guys. So they're devious. Hmm. 
Um, so we don't want, at least we don't want to start aggressive. move up here and enrage this guy if she can. Uh, she's done really well with hitting with that with the 80%. It's been very useful. Um, we'll stick with Devious and finish her off. Okay. she chose to attack her. Uh, Alright, well we can... Hmm. We can definitely finish her off with aggressive. Let's do a devious just to boost our devious a little bit. Uh. And she can come up here and actually we might as well use this. A noticeable attack. Oof. Takes her out. Boss, Sir Poppings, these mean people will do anything to talk to you. Poor head of security, you have to say. <laughs> you have an executive and make a joyful discovery. There's Kiwi. All right. Oh, interesting. Before you leave, however, one of the security cards comes to the executive. Sir Poppings, that's one of those people who said horrible things about my hair. Kiwi looks at the crew. This crew member is very brave. One treasure hunt. You can steal whatever we want, but we won't if you pay up. After the conversation, the crew continues. The crew jokes that if Kiwi would have turned to a voodoo private pirate, we'd get a new captain. All right, so we're going to be out of supplies for one move. Um... I don't think we can get more supplies at the Oasis. No. Okay. Amelia used the speech power. All right. Well, that's annoying, but <laughs> could be worse. Oh, the seal has already been removed. Kiwi tells the crew of the temple is dedicated to segment. After following the hallway, the crew arrives at the chamber of war. We have almost no campaign, so we'll grab a couple of those. Sarcophagus bursts open. Uh, this time we're actually going to play the game of war because we have a tactician but no diplomat. The gamer game is ready to be played. It looks like a very tactical game made for those who are raised in combat. Bia will play the game. What a tactical masterclass by Bia. Bia's Egyptian chariots outflank the general's Hattie Spear division and Bia delivers a decisive blow to the general's forces. forces. Impressive. You are worthy of weaning segment. Weaning segment. The crew now moves through a long, dark hallway. The crew can only see ahead with the flaming light of their torches. Wall paintings describe locations where offerings are bought to segment in order to win her favor in war. <sighs> and we have a level 4 archaeologist, actually. She's level 5. It goes down quickly. It might have been an air vent of some sort. Kiwi sees a chance to cut off the other party inside the temple and slides down the vent. The rest of the crew follows. We land in the treasure room. We can get the God of Science or God of the Sun. Uh, I think we're going to go for the money. So let's take raw statue. Plus 20 to 25 gold from treasure hunts. We already have one of those. If we finish this, we'll get a couple more. You continue looking for an exit when Bia finds a hole in the floor. Below, you see a strange red light and hear the voice of two people talking. You listen closely. With this curse released, the renowned explorers will be destroyed for sticking their noses where they don't belong. With them gone, the anti-explorers will be able to keep the world's secrets. All right. Uh, we fall down, we fight segment, and here we go. And so we haven't lost any resolve on this adventure so far, fingers crossed, knock on wood. But this is going to be a tougher fight, I think. So, well, these guys don't have enraged weakness. That's pretty good for us, actually. Hmm. So, currently friendly. So if we're going to do an enraged attack, 
thinking of starting off with this against those two. Well, maybe I should save that. Yeah, I don't want him to get next to somebody on the first turn, I don't think. Um, well, if he's going to get next to somebody, he might as well get next to her. Her speech power is weakened anyway. All right, let's move her up. Hmm. We can't move back. We got to take out at least one of them. Move her up to there. And she can do an excite on this guy. Yeah, weak to excite. Um, no, he, he, she can move up to here. And is an unnoticeable attack is enough to finish this guy off. Beautiful. So we'll do that. And then you can move up to here. And finish this guy off with an enrage. Blah, blah. Oh. And we're still in Pleasant. Perfect. So they will get to attack. Which is unfortunate. So her speech power is going to be even lower. Well, she didn't move up at all. Interesting. She's now saddened. Which is not good. Uh, so I think, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh no, she's not. <laughs> she's saddened. That's fine. Um, so we'll have now. We'll use loudmouth. So we'll have her move to here. Perfect. Okay, now we have to get out of Loudmouth before the end of the turn, um, or we'll get kind of wrecked. But we should be able to do that easily by having her... Actually, can she? No, she can't finish that guy off. Uh, he is sad in weakness, confident resistance. All right, so she'll move up to here. Yeah. basic attack and finish that guy off and then she needs to do a physical attack on, on this guy <laughs> so that puts us into aggressive now she'll transform <laughs> Which is fine. Okay, we got those guys coming up from behind. Hmm. That's a bug. Her health bar is in two places. Let's see. Unfortunately, tranquility, eh, it's not, could be a lot worse, actually. Um, all right, let's have her move back to here. Tranquility. She can get everybody there. <laughs> Yes. Okay. She is enraged weakness. So 
we want to be devious at this point. Um, I don't think she can die to one attack. So let's have her move down to here. Finish this guy off with a terrify. <laughs> And now Devious Abilities are 25% power. Let's see, he has 30 HP, 15. We ought to be able to figure this out. So, her speech is 39 plus 25%, minus 23%. Yeah, she can one-shot that guy. And I think that's worth doing. All right, that gives us 25 grit. So I mean, we could have used it on her. But I like this better. It'd be nice if that had missed, though. Uh, especially since we don't have tranquility anymore. Uh, all right, so she... Now we're going to go after her. So we'll start by, actually, she is negative. We'll start by having you try to enrage her. Beautiful. Now, you can come over here and do your triple slash. We should have done that first. Hmm. Actually, enraged still does more damage even than that. <laughs> so go ahead and do an enrage. Blah, blah. <laughs> okay, so she's more than half dead. So as long as they don't both gang up on her. <laughs> actually, she'd probably be okay even if they did. <laughs> Nice. That was clutch. She might have taken her out if that had hit. Okay. Um, so I think we keep pounding the enrage here. It just does so much damage. Blah, blah. 52. be able to finish her off with just a regular attack or with a no just a regular attack <laughs> perfect what aggressive damn it plus five study all your crew members gain speech defense permanently increased by five I realize that uh, all right we got the mask Two treasure hunt, two secret, two discovery. Uh, we don't have any tools, so we just have to take our 50-50 shot here. We succeeded. Nice. Uh, made it out of the temple. I should have woken up early or to get here. Impressive work, Kiwi. It's Rivalo. The anti-explorers. We tell them about the anti-explorers. I'll hand her the smell of myself, and we're done. And we're still devious. We got three treasures. Last time we got four, but three's still not bad. Lots of renown. Decent amount of status. Quite a bit of research. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I think we did better last time, but all right, we're still a sly scholar, and we unlocked 
the jobs in Africa. All right, and that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode, and until then, have a terrific day.